I'm Pat McSherry, and on this week's episode of Go Angling, we're going to last fall, last November to be exact, with my good buddy Ryan Klein up to Soon Arrows, Ontario, chasing big fall muskies. In-depth outdoors, Go Angling. Brought to you by Gander Outdoors. All right, let's go to the next spot. Typically when we're doing these trolling passes, we're just doing one to two passes on spots that uh, look good or that we've had prior success on, and then we're on to the next one. And it doesn't mean that I won't come back to some of these spots throughout the day, but usually if you can hit it twice and run the boat well, not get a rip, there's definitely not a muskie willing to bite at this time on that spot. Doesn't mean there won't be later on today, but we're gonna keep moving. Well, we're on about spot number 10 now, and we're just not seeing a ton of activity on the graph as far as bait goes. We're not seeing any concentrations of muskies or bait, and we're just gonna keep trolling at this point to try and figure out where these fish are and what they're doing. Um, it's fall, a lot of times these feeding windows and stuff can not last very long. And as far as I'm concerned, the casting thing, you really need to see a, a concentration of bait, don't you? I mean, yeah. to, to cover that amount of water is so important. Our bait casting, we're just not in the zone for the amount of time we should be probably, so. Right, when you're casting to these fish, a lot of times they're in 20 to 25 feet of water off of a break line or off of a ledge, a reef whatever it may be, the amount of time that your bulldog or your tube or whatever rubber bait you're throwing is in that zone, that 20 to 25 feet where that fish can see it and track it, is probably about as long as this boat and then it's starting to come back up. You know, that bait lands, it starts sinking down, you start working it back, and this is just a lot more efficient way to put a big muskie in the boat this time of year. There we go, buddy. So we've been <laughs> we've been trolling our tails off basically all day trying to figure out what these fish are doing, what they want, and it's been tough. A lot of times in the fall, you can get kind of <sighs> some smaller bite windows and stuff like that, real short bite windows that could be what we're experiencing a little bit. Maybe we're just getting into a, a window here, but feels like a decent fish. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. Yeah. Big fish, big really fish. big fish. Just tail hooked. There she oh, is. Oh my that's God. A, that's a big one, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> that is a big one. Wow. Unbelievable. That's a giant. All right, I got her. Super heavy. <laughs> Look at that fish. <laughs> that thing, thing is a giant. It's uh, that's a 40, that's a 45 pound fish, I bet. Yeah. We'll see how long she is. <sighs> Try and be easy on her. Gosh. It isn't that long, it's just so fat. 49 inches. So you're looking at a fish like that. Not 45 pounds, but she's pushing 40, not 40 pounds anyways, just because of the sheer weight of them. Crazy. All right, let's get her back. Yeah. Oh, there she goes. 
cold water they go back so quick that's really cool that you know that's probably one of the most special things about fall fishing for muskies especially is the sheer weight of the fish that was probably the fattest fish i've ever caught oh yeah 49 inches but just super fat <laughs> crazy good job man let's go get another one yep that's gonna do it for this episode. And one of the main reasons why we chose to go back to last November and show you that fish is that's one of my favorite bites to do late fall, but it really takes quite a bit of planning. Uh, the water temperature that you're looking for is from that 39 to 41, 42 degrees is when I've had my best success for trolling those big baits down deep in that 20 to 25 feet of water range. So if that's something you might be interested in, make sure you put that on your radar for this fall. That soon arrows up to Kenora area is one of my favorites. So don't forget to like and subscribe In-Depth Outdoors and Gander Outdoors, and we'll see you next time.